Let's examine how the buckets are represented in the Splunk file system and the database directories that represent the buckets in the Splunk file system are pretty protected so you'll have to use an elevated account. In this test environment I've just made myself root by using the su command. In a production environment don't do this. There are much better and much more recommended ways to do this. So aside from frozen, the hot, warm, cold, and thawed buckets are all in Splunk Home var lib Splunk default db. So let's move to that directory. We are already in Splunk Home, which in Linux is slash opt slash Splunk. So let's go to var lib Splunk and default db. Now we're in default db. Let's see what else is in here. Now the db directory stores the hot and warm buckets. The cold bucket is in cold db and the thawed bucket is in thawed db. So let's move to one of those directories. Let's move to db and let's look inside. And we have a global metadata directory in here. So let's move there and look inside. There's pretty much nothing happening yet in our Splunk environment. And that's to be expected since it's a brand new environment and we haven't done much of anything. We haven't imported any data. 